Next, from a darling little church built for an important saint to a darling Victorian home built for a very important musician. Edvard Grieg was one of the most important composers to come out of Norway. It has been said that Grieg is to Norway, what Shakespeare is to England, and what Washington is to America. Born in Bergen in 1843, Grieg is credited with creating a national identity for classical music in Norway. Many of his lyrical works were inspired by Norwegian folk music. Of his many accomplishments, he founded the Norwegian Nationalist School of Music. Perhaps his most recognizable piece is Morning Mood from the Peer Gint Suite. And this was his magnificent summer home, which he happily shared with his wife Nina, who was also a musician. She was a soprano. They had their home built on the perfect spot overlooking Lake Noros. Now, let's get to that name. Trollhagen means Trolls Hill, because you know how much Norwegians love their magical trolls. Something else Norwegians are known for is growing grass on their rooftops. This grass top building is a concert hall where you can experience Grieg's music right where he composed it at Trollhagen. Now let's take a look inside. So come on in, watch your step, and behold, this is the home that music built. Edvard and his wife Nina lived here for 22 beautiful years, and they had it built especially for them in this spot in the glorious Victorian style. You can see a lot of the Victorian furnishings that they had still in the same place today. But if you look around, you might notice something a little bit different than what you might normally see in a Victorian home. For a family of, let's just say, their stature. Normally they would have really ornate wallpaper covering the walls, but instead Edvard and Nina chose to keep the walls wooden as a tribute to their Norwegian roots. And there's lots of fun Norwegian details to find here. If you look closely, this isn't just a regular chair. This kind of little dragon serpenty guy was clearly inspired by those Viking longships. Then as you come a little closer here, watch your head for the chandelier, unless of course you were Edvard or Nina's height. And of course, we have an 1892 Steinway. Look, but do not touch. Come over this way, and you can just tell how much in love Edvard and Nina were, because Edvard actually had this rose stained glass window made especially for her. So cute. All right, come on out here. And look at this. Can you see why they chose this spot now? And those little benches there with the beautiful tulips. Maybe this is the spot where Edvard and Nina would just sit and gaze out over the water. 